this year has fundamentally changed all of our lives in the best way possible. I mean, it's a dream. I don't know. I can't wrap my head around it. I've never had a job like this before. This is the best job I've had in my 16 or 17 years of being an actor and sort of being a public figure, I guess. And, and I think that has to do with the material, like what the show actually is and what it means to people. It's, um, it's just, it's pretty mind boggling to be a part of something that has, has sort of like, you know, burrowed a place into people's lives and hearts and minds. I, again, I've just, I've never been a part of a project like that. It feels, without sounding silly, like it feels important. It feels like it really means something, like this is a necessary bit of entertainment in the world these days. All eight of us sort of core cast have very dynamic, juicy storylines. We have a lot to say and I think that's why people are able to relate to the show because if you can't sort of find your way into one character or one storyline, there's like a plethora for you to choose from. And it may not be so specific to exactly what you're going through in life, but I'm really proud to be a part of something that like engenders this dialogue, you know, amongst family and friends. Um, you know, having maybe difficult, somewhat difficult conversations that wouldn't necessarily come to light if, if the show weren't out there kind of nudging us all to, to have those conversations. I mean, I'm one tiny piece of this puzzle. So people ask all the time, like, do you get emotional reading the scripts or watching the show like the rest of us? And absolutely, like, I am not immune to it by any means. I am so invested in these characters and these stories. And again, because I only play a small portion of it, I'm excited each Tuesday to sit down and see the whole show unfold because I'm not there for all of Chrissy and, and Sully scenes or Justin or, you know, Sterling and Susan. It's like I, I read these scripts and I know what to expect, but I'm still sort of caught off guard by how emotionally invested I am in these characters. I think the simple fact that he's not alive anymore is crushing. How it happens... I can, I guess, kind of understand how that is an interesting part of the equation, but I feel like there are much bigger questions that are more, more interesting. And, you know, the loss of, of a parent, like the impact that has on, um, you know, or the loss of a husband, like the impact that has on a spouse or on the children and how they ultimately carry that loss with them for the rest of their lives. And it's reflected in the choices they make. Um, is, is far more compelling to me in terms of like where the stories lead us than just how he passed away. And that question will be answered this season. In fact, a very huge part of the equation and a large clue will be offered in the, in the first episode. I have the craziest job of playing, you know, one character from about 23 to 66. 67. It is um, a challenge, to say the least. I mean, I remember two weeks before we started shooting, or maybe a little bit more than that, Dan Fogelman emailed me and he's like, so I have this crazy idea where I want to see if you can play Rebecca present day. So we're going to send you to like the, you know, special effects house and get a mold made of your face so you can, we can have like this hair and makeup test with prosthetics and a wig. And if it doesn't work, if we don't like buy it 100%, then will cast an actress to play the older version of your character. So I remember thinking like, oh my gosh, the, the challenge of not just like people buying it from a physical standpoint, you know, like how I look in the prosthetics and the wig, but just like the physicality of my body was what I was most concerned with because that was the only thing I was in control of. So it's something that's never far from top of mind when I'm when I am shooting those scenes and sitting across from Sterling or Chrissy or Justin where, you know, they're older than me in real life and yet here I am playing their mother and I have to sort of have the wisdom and clarity that comes with those years of a woman who's not only lost a child but has lost a spouse and has remarried and is a grandmother, all of those things that I have no, <laughs> no access to in my own life. I have no real point of reference. So um, it's the most 
delicious challenge I think any actor could really ask for, though. 